Well, welcome back, RB fans. Mike Rogers, RB Bass Angler here. Um, I've had um, several uh, people, young and old, start getting into bow fishing, and they ask me because they know they've seen some of my pictures of doing it. Um, what they need to get started. So this is just basic stuff I'm going to give you, and then you can elaborate on it afterwards and stuff. But yeah, of course you're going to need a bow, and you can go to Sportsman's or you can go to um, uh, the BPS and and buy these four or five hundred dollar package bows just for bow fishing, but you really don't need to spend that kind of money. It's uh, it's a lot easier um, to put the components together yourself uh, and cheaper. I, you get on eBay and you can buy a bow uh, similar to this one here. This one here is uh, a wood laminate bow. You can see the the wood in it. Um, I bought this years ago on eBay for like 25 bucks. Uh, it's been awesome. Um, I, I use it every time uh, um, I, I go out. And for 25 bucks, and it sure beats spending that four or 500 bucks. Um, <clears throat> so if you can find a bow like this or similar to it that only has a single cam to it, and it's actually just a wheel, it's not a cam. Um, Cams, cams are used in regular bow, I'm a bow hunter, are used for a uh, let off. So when you pull here, there's a 70 pound pull and it's hard. And it gets to that certain point, it goes, oh, now you only got a 15 pound hole, so it's not so bad. You don't need it. All you need is just the single wheels. And the reason for that is your draw weight here should only be like 25 pounds, 30 at the most. I mean, you're just shooting down in the water at the at a fish. You're not going long distance at a deer. That's this is strict, strictly for bow fishing. So uh, get on eBay, take a look to see if you can find one like this. Uh, even if it's a composite, it really doesn't make a difference what it's made out of. Just a, a cheap one that has single wheels. If it happens to have a cam, um, that's fine too. You're, you're just looking to buy it cheaper. Uh, and make sure you have it uh, strung up. Uh, most of the ones that you buy, were, um, other than in the store, the $400, $500 ones, um, these ones off eBay, then you're gonna have to set up things yourself. And the first thing you're going to have to do is purchase a, uh, uh, a bottle reel. Uh, what this does is has the string inside of it. And uh, after you shoot the arrow, you, you grip your little lever down here and pull and you wind it just like a regular wheel. And it all winds back up into the, in, in, into the bottle. Uh, you need one of those and adapt it to your bowl, whatever way you need to adapt it on there. Uh, whether you have to dr drill a couple of holes or, or whatever, this one happened to fit on just fine. The, uh, Next thing that you're going to need is a uh, roller rest. Now your arrow sits on this on this side, and I'll pull one out. I got one strapped to the bow here. I didn't want to take off. Um, it's this little roller right here. It's a rest, so the arrow will sit right on there. Um, give me a second. I'll pull one out. I'm going to show you this uh, arrow. Um, tube holder that I made as well here uh, in a minute. What you will need. All right, here's an arrow. And it goes right on the rest and back into the knock, which I'll explain in a minute. And all it does is just roll your arrow forward. It's not like uh, a fall away that I have on my uh, hunting bow. Uh, that actually suspends the arrow in the air. This one rolls right on the thing. All you're doing is, uh, again, shooting a fish. And uh, make sure that your knock back here, you can see it's actually just a little bit higher than the roll rest because when you pull it back, everything evens up. And you should have a uh, knock or what they call a D-loop in here to, to put your arrow in. But that's what those are. The um, adjustments are like any other bow. If you find one and it's got 60 pounds on it, you want to get it down to 25. You put your, you, if you have caps on them, you pull these off and down in here is the Allen wrench screw and you un unscrew it and it lessens it up down to where, where you need it to be. Um, the reason again for um, 35 pound pull is all you're going to need, but most times you're down shooting into the water and sometimes you're only shooting in six, eight inches of where the carp are going or the hard mouth or whatever. Uh, you can only shoot non-game fish. Um, 
and you don't want that arrow bouncing back. I've seen it bounce back and, and sting somebody in the shoulder. So um, uh, you not only know a 35 pound bull bow, but you have to adjust your draw length depending on how deep the water is too. Uh, and we'll get into some of the, some of the water here. But this is this is your basic setup. It's nothing fancy. Uh, no no bling to it. Uh, a reel, a roller rest, of course your string, a single cam. This yellow thing here is just a hanger I hang it up on the wall with. Um, and that's basically all you need for the bow. Uh, also, you can go on eBay and you can get arrows, uh, depending on your draw length. I, I get the long ones. Um, I got a, an excessive draw length. Um, you, you can get them. They're cheap. I forget. It's been so long since I bought them, but um, you can buy like a dozen at a time. And if you can get them for, you know, 30, 40 bucks, it's awesome. Because if you go to a bow store or VPS or whatever, you're going to pay through the nose on these things. And all they are is fiberglass, nothing more. Uh, they have a knock back here. And this here is a, is a slide stop on the end of the row. This is the slide. You can see that. That slide right there. This attaches on your string. And then when you load the arrow, you have the slide all the way to the front. You load it up, you knock your arrow, your string is hanging from your bottle right here. And so when you shoot and the arrow takes off, the slide goes all the way back to here and stops and it pulls the string out. And it also, you need that stop there in order to reel the fish back in. Otherwise, it's just going to slide right off the arrow and he's gone. Um, another thing, another thing you need, and there seems to be a lot of things, but once you get them, uh, you don't, I mean, you buy a dozen or so at a time, is you, the, the uh, arrowheads up here, we call these stingers. And I, I like the ones to, that uh, all actually unscrew. And the reason for that is that once you've shot a carp or a fish or something like that, you need to take, unscrew this thing and either pull it out, or in some cases, I have some of them that just flip the barb the other way and you, and you can pull it out. Uh, makes it a lot of the other way, you'll never get the, fit, never get the fish off. Um, your chisel heads and stuff depends on you know, whatever preference you want or whatever cheapness you can get them out of, uh, out of eBay on and stuff, but they're all over the place. So you need arrow, uh, stops, slides, and stingers for your arrow. Um, and I, I carry a bow box that's got, got all the stingers in it and, and the slides and all that stuff because you're always breaking something when you're out. It, it can't be helped. Uh, after a while, your tips here get dull. You need to put some sharper ones on, otherwise you ain't even going to puncture the thing. So it's, it's good. Um, another thing you're going to need, and you'll find this out, don't draw with your fingers. If you do, we, we'll, we'll float all night long having just having a ball, um, but you'll wear your fingers out just doing, doing one of these nails. I, I bring my a release. I, I have one just like this for my uh, hunting bow. Um, and it's, a, it's a trigger release and you put it in your right, to, right there with a, above the arrow, clip it on and pull back and you trigger it just like a gun and it, it takes a, saves you a ton of fingers. A ton of fingers. Um, this arrow case here, I made just out of two inch PVC. It's got a cap on the bottom. Uh, it's got a screw top right here. Uh, which I got connected by a string and a swivel up here, a fishing swivel. So I can go around without tightening up all the string over it. And I threw a bunch of corks on the, on the string. In case you happen to kick it over and you want it to float, uh, the air bubble inside here will probably be more enough, but um, I got corks on it anyway, and it'll, um, it'll, it'll help. All, all my arrows that are ready to go are in here. So all I gotta do is pick up the case, and, and take off. So that's your basic equipment. Anybody can do it. You, uh, get on eBay and buy the stuff. I, I kid you not, uh, being a bow hunter and how hard that is, um, I've taken some uh, uh, elk and some deer, uh, bears, stuff like that. Um, a lot of times you're lucky if you're in the field 10 days that you even get to loose an arrow or, or get an animal. It takes repetitive times to do it because you have to get closer and closer to them. Um, you, this is the most fun you will ever have <laughs> with a bow in your hand. You will shoot a hundred times a night. You have to, um, you have to judge a lot of things. Uh, you don't have sights on these bows because you sight down the arrow to, to shoot. 
You have to judge distance. You have to judge refractionation of the water where the fish is. You have to judge his depth uh, down to what he's doing. You have to judge how fast he is swimming. Uh, you have to judge the drift of the boat and, and wind. It's just, it's a lot of fun. Um, you shoot, you miss, whatever. <laughs> you roll it back in and you go, and you go for it again. Uh, my uh, tip to you is to um, uh, shoot low. Uh, even if they're out a ways, which I like better, uh, you, you shoot low because they arrow submarines. Um, unless you're going right over the top of them, then you shoot straight down, and it's fine. Uh, but get the stuff and go have fun. Um, hopefully you have a boat that you can drift with and stuff. It's, it, it's stuff. We have one that's my nephew's, and we have a, a boat deck in the front with uh, lights all the way around it, and we drift most of the nighttime. Um, otherwise, you can go out during the day. I see uh, carp in the Delta and Clear Lake and stuff like that um, uh, in, the, in the summertime. So um, that's it. Uh, remember to um, uh, take a kid fishing and, and have a great time. Catch you later.